Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be putting in these Defiant Smart Plugs in my room. I'm going to show you how to set them up, um, uh, how to download the app if you haven't done that. In this case, we already have one in the kitchen. But just in case if you don't have one yet, I am going to show you how to do it and what you need to do. And also how to set them up. And also, most people have been complaining about Defiant. I'm going to show you how we get around that by using Hubspace. Anyway, let's get started. So here's the room we're going to be putting these four smart plugs in. Um, uh, now, the reason why I'm putting it in here is because every morning I forget to turn off my nightlights. Like you see, it's 2 o'clock in the morning and these nightlights are still on. So I want to make these smart and we already have an Amazon here. Um, uh, um, uh, these work with a lot. They also work with the Google Assistant if you have that. Um, uh, and, uh, and I want them to be able to have them on a timer. These also work with a timer as well. So, anyway, let's start. So, we're going to start plugging these in. And I'll show you how to install the first one. So, it's basically just as, it's, it's basically as simple as you think. So, guys, how you do it. Is you say, it's basically as easy as I'm plugging your device, plugging in the smart plug, and then plug this in. And I'll show you how to set that up after we get the other ones installed. But actually, I have another one that's going to be installed right here as well. So I'm going to get that other one installed right below it. Okay, we have two smart plugs right there, and I'll show you where I'm putting the other two. The other one is going to go right here. The other, two, the last two are going right here. Now we have one more in this room. We have one more in this room actually. Um, uh, but we're that one's on a timer already, and I just want to leave that one on the timer, and we don't need that one to be smart. But we could always go out and get another one if we want one to be, if we want it to be smart. Let's see if this will work. Surprisingly, it actually does fit. It does fit surprisingly. I wasn't expecting that actually. And we'll install one for the one below. I'll install the last one for the one below, and I'll show you how to get these set up in the app. So you guys may think I'm into electrical and smoke alarms. I'm not only into that, I'm also into technology. Um, I used to have a channel, if you were familiar with David's online tips and tricks, that was actually me. If you're if you used to watch that channel, um, but now I made a second channel and I changed the channel name and basically took everything down. Oh, and I forgot to plug this last thing into it, which will be right here. Now, now we're going to have to unplug these to set these up and I'll show you why in the easiest way. We're going to go ahead and add the bottom one right here. Um, so we're going to so we're going to go back into the app. We're going to go add a product. Um, uh, for this, you'll scan the QR code. In my case, it does not, it's not recognizing it. So, you click on scan problem, and it'll actually let you enter in a code. So, you'll see, you'll see on the back, there'll be dashes. Do not enter in those dashes, because it'll be, come up as an invalid code, and it will not add it. Adding product. Indoor plug added has been added. This one I'm gonna put in David's David's bedroom night light two. I just did a voice type just to make it go faster. I don't know, it's still running.
I'm gonna connect it to the bedroom and we're gonna add the product. It may take a little bit for this one because it's downstairs. Okay, it's been added. And let's check. David's bedroom nightlight too. Bluetooth mode. You may not see it because it's on the other side of the room. I don't know because it's plugged into a power strip, but it works. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add the other two real quick. You've seen the process, so I'm not going to show you. So guys, I have added all the devices. I'm gonna, so we're going to go into night nightlight one. Okay, so that's the one we want. So we're going to go add to schedule at an event. Every day of the week, we're going to select turn on. And we're going to have it turn on. It's 6 p.m. It's 6 p.m. every day. We're going to select set. So it's going to turn on at 6. It's going to turn off. It's going to turn off. going to turn off at 7 o'clock in the, every morning. So it's going to turn on at 6 p.m. It's going to turn off at 7 a.m. Save. And we're going to and now we're going to add that to Nightlight 2. This one we're actually going to add for a little bit later, so at an event, it's going to turn on. At 8 p.m. I'm going to set it to turn on at 8 p.m. I'm going to actually set it to turn on at 9 p.m. And if I come in, it's actually, I'm actually going to set it for 10 p.m. And if I come in earlier, I'll ask the Amazon Assistant to turn it on manually. So... We're going to select set for a turn on, and we're going to have it turn off at 7 o'clock a.m. in the morning. And we're going to select save. Nightlight free is this one. So we're going to do the same as nightlight one. So we're, we're going to go into nightlight free, set schedule, add an event. It's going to turn on at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. It's going to turn off at 7 a.m. And night late 4. That one, I can have the same schedule as two and three. So, six p.m. set, turn off, seven a.m. Save. And now that that is done, every day at those times it'll turn off. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it with the Amazon Assistant. So we're gonna go into the app, or if you have, or if you use Google Assistant, you go into the Google Home app. But I'm gonna show you how to do it because that's what we have. I'm gonna go to devices, and with these, they should automatically add. Yep, all these automatically added. All these automatically added. So I'm actually gonna put the turn on David's night lights. Good night. Talk to you tomorrow. Welcome back to Sleep Sounds. What should close? And there we go. Everything in the room actually has turned on. So this is turned on. That is on. This switch we have to turn on manually. It's annoying. That one's on, and that's on. So we're gonna try turning these off. Turn off David's night lights. Okay.
There we go. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to stop recording now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Any comments or questions, make sure to leave those down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye, folks. Thank you for watching.